restore a computer from Ghost Image, you want to go ahead and put in the first disk of your backup and then go ahead and power on the computer and in this case I'll be pressing F12 to choose the boot menu option. Some computers have a different key to go into that menu. And when the menu appears, uh, which will take just a moment here, we want to choose the second option which is CD, DVD, CW, Drive. Um, I do that using the down arrow key on the keyboard and then pressing enter will continue. Then when we're asked to press a key to boot from CD or DVD, we push it. The space bar is fine. And again, using the down arrow, we'll go to option number two, load CD drivers. You can see that there. And press enter. And then at this point, we will see uh, some information scrolling by. Some of these messages will look like error messages, unable to find certain uh, hardware, installation failed, etc. It's just that Ghost 2003 is going through as many drivers as possible, hoping to find one that works. So here we are at the A prompt, and now we'll be going ahead and going to C colon and pressing enter, and now we'll type Ghost. So the Ghost program itself is installed on the backup disk, which is real handy. So, you know, as a technician, you can give this Ghost image backup to your client and let them restore from that disk. So we'll go ahead and boot up to Ghost, click OK at that message, and we're going to be um, going to local disk from an image. So I'll click on that. And then you'll notice the default that comes up is the CD image. So it's highlighted. You click Open. And then from here on out, you would continue through the prompts that are presented to you, um, accepting whatever the default you know, options are, and um, choosing where you want to place the backup, which in this case would be Drive 1, and uh, defining some settings about that. And then I'm not going to do this final step because I have a working computer here, but um, basically you would proceed with Disk Restore. You'd click Yes, and it would walk through restoring and ask for your second or third or more disks, whatever you have in your backup set. And when it's done, you'll have your computer restored back to its working state. So as you can see, this is a really valuable utility that can save many hours or days of work.